Germany. The land of beer, Bratwurst, and Oktoberfest is often ranked as one of the best countries to live in. With its strong economy, rich history, and picturesque landscapes, I absolutely understand the appeal. But there is a dark side to living in Germany that we don't usually talk about. But before we dive in, let's talk about why Germany went global to begin with. Germany has always been a hotspot for trade, thanks to its prime location in Europe. But lately, it's also become a magnet for tourists from all over the world. And guess what? The rise of German metropolitan cities has a lot to do with it. But while these cities might entice you, living in Germany certainly has its issues and challenges that can take some getting used to. Here's what we don't hear about a lot, the dark side of living in Germany. High taxation. One of the worst issues on this list is the high taxation system. Germany is known for its robust social welfare programs, but it comes at a cost. The taxes can put a strain on your finances, and it's something you need to factor into your budget. Germany operates on a progressive tax system, which means that individuals with higher incomes are subject to higher tax rates. This can result in a substantial portion of your earnings going toward taxes. The tax rates in Germany are among the highest in the world, particularly for high-income earners. Fluctuating weather. Let's talk about the weather in Germany. While there are indeed some delightful sunny days, it's safe to say that the weather here can be quite unpredictable. To start it off, the winters can be quite cold. Get ready for piercing winds, icy temperatures, and snow that seems to stick around forever. You'll have to become a bit too familiar with layering up in warm clothes as you wait for the first dawn of summer. And the rain! Rain is a frequent companion in Germany. Be prepared for regular showers, drizzles, and occasional heavy downpours. Investing in a trusty umbrella and a reliable raincoat will become essential as you navigate through the gloomy streets of Germany in the rainy seasons, which, sadly, Germany gets plenty of. The language barrier. German, oh German. It's a language that can make your head spin, and we understand why. With its intricate grammar and tongue-twisting pronunciation, learning German can be quite a challenge. While it's true that many Germans speak English, especially in larger cities, Germans generally prefer conducting business and everyday interactions in German. This becomes even more important as you struggle to make your name and climb the corporate ladder. Almost a century after Hitler, Germany sadly still holds on to its linguistic roots. Though change is coming, people complain that it is too slow, or even altogether impossible. New Cycling Restrictions Yes, you heard it right, cycling restrictions. If you're a cycling enthusiast, you'll find that Germans love their bikes. But be prepared for the strict rules and regulations that come with it. While these rules are in place to promote safety, it can sometimes be a bit frustrating, especially if you're used to more relaxed cycling cultures. In Germany, for example, cyclists are required to follow traffic signals just like vehicles. This means that when approaching a red traffic light, cyclists must come to a complete stop and wait for the light to turn green before proceeding. While this rule is designed to ensure safety and prevent accidents, it can be a bit frustrating for cyclists since it's not as easy to get the bike in gear as seamlessly as a car. The Work Environment Germans have a reputation for being hardworking and efficient, but the hierarchical nature of German workplaces can make it challenging to climb the corporate ladder. Advancements and promotions can be slow, and earning the recognition you deserve often takes time. So if you're looking to make rapid career progress, you might need to brace yourself for a more patient approach. Germans also have a strict policy of not discussing salaries with colleagues. This means that your salary is a well-kept secret, and you won't find yourself casually comparing income levels with your coworkers during lunch break. It can create a sense of mystery around salaries and leave you wondering if you're being adequately compensated. But hey, at least you won't have to deal with awkward salary conversations. Another work-related aspect to consider is the mandatory lunch break. German labor laws and tariff agreements enforce a 30-minute lunch break every day. 
While it might seem restrictive for those who prefer flexibility in their work schedules, it's actually a legally protected break that ensures employees have time to recharge and enjoy a proper meal. This can feel a bit forced and boring at times, and many people do not appreciate it. German bureaucracy. This is a tough one to hear. Bureaucracy in Germany is like navigating a never-ending maze of forms, appointments, and red tape. Seriously, the amount of paperwork can drive you nuts. Whether you're trying to register your address or get a visa, get ready to drown in a sea of documents. And don't even get me started on opening a bank account. It's like they need your entire life history. It can be overwhelming, especially if you're used to a more laid-back approach. No air conditioning. When it comes to air conditioning, Germany takes a different approach than most countries are used to. Due to energy efficiency standards and a focus on sustainability, AC is not as common in German buildings. Instead, the emphasis is on insulation and ventilation to naturally regulate indoor temperatures. Over the years, Germans have become experts at utilizing windows to let in the cool breeze during the summer months. But this can be a big issue for people coming from more tropical, coastal regions, which they get a lot. German Superiority Complex Germans, for cultural reasons, are often encouraged to openly share their opinions and viewpoints, even on subjects they may not have comprehensive knowledge about. This strong opinion culture can sometimes be overwhelming, especially for foreigners who might have different perspectives or experiences. Over time, outsiders naturally learn to take it with a grain of salt and embrace the diversity of opinions that come their way. Limited store hours. Ah, the limited store hours in Germany can be a bit of a surprise for those used to round-the-clock shopping. If you're the kind of person who loves spontaneous midnight shopping sprees, you might have to adjust your schedule. Many shops in Germany close early on Saturdays and are completely closed on Sundays. It's like a retail ghost town on those days. So make sure you plan ahead and stock up on essentials before the weekend hits. But hey, on the bright side, this can actually encourage a slower pace of life and give you a chance to explore other leisure activities or spend quality time with friends and family. So embrace the slower shopping rhythm, plan accordingly, and savor those Sunday moments of relaxation. Cultural Sensitivities Germany's history is a complex tapestry woven with both triumphs and tragedies. The scars of World War II and the Holocaust run deep, and discussions around these sensitive subjects need to be approached with respect, empathy, and a willingness to listen and learn. This can be hard for people from countries with different pasts or those who were victims of the abuse that Germany carried out during the gory years of the Second World War. Much like their history, politics can be a touchy topic, especially considering the country's diverse range of opinions. It takes quite some time to educate yourself about Germany's history. Be mindful of the emotions that these topics can evoke and show respect for the perspectives of others. While this is suggested everywhere, the overall weight of living in Germany, especially as non-Germans, can increase a lot. How to adjust. Moving to any new country can be challenging, but worry not. With some slight adjustments, you can blend into German culture and find your way around many of the restrictions that, frankly, appear quite unbelievable. First things first, embrace the language. Learning a few basic German phrases can go a long way in breaking down the language barrier and earning some German brownie points. Plus, it's always fun to impress locals with your Guten Tag or Dankeschön. Next up, let's talk about punctuality. Germans take their timeliness seriously, so be sure to set your clock to German standard time. If you're meeting friends at 7 p.m., make sure you're there at 6.55 p.m. sharp. Better early than fashionably late. That's the key in Germany. And while you're at it, brace yourself for some blunt honesty. Germans aren't big fans of beating around the bush. So don't be surprised if your new German friends give you their unfiltered opinion on your outfits or your life choices. It's not personal. It's just their way of keeping it real. Embrace it and don't be afraid to dish it back. In fact, do. Also, don't expect instant BFFs. Germans are known for their reserved nature. 
But building friendships also takes time, so be patient and be open. Join local clubs or sports teams, grab a beer at a beer garden, or strike up a conversation at a cozy cafe. Who knows, you might just make friends for life. And let's not forget about the German love for rules and order. Follow the traffic lights, recycle like a pro, and always return your funds, which is basically your bottle deposit to claim your extra cents. Trust me, these small gestures will earn you serious respect from your German neighbors. Adjusting to German culture can be an adventure in itself, but with an open mind, a sense of humor, and a willingness to embrace the quirks, you'll be raising your beer stein and shouting Prost with the best of them. So go out there, immerse yourself in the German way of life, and prepare for an unforgettable journey. That's all I have for you today. Yes, Germany has its perks and benefits, but the dark side of living in a country like that is not discussed openly. We're sorry to break your bubble, but adjusting requires effort and sometimes a lot of struggle. What do you think? Is Germany still a good place to live, even with all its rigid rules and the stubbornness of its exclusive culture? Let us know in the comments down below. For more videos just like this, subscribe to our channel. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.